number? No, I do. I do, ma'am. Can I speak to somebody? Because it just so happens that the video I have is of a police officer. It is, ma'am, and I've been trying to call the police, and they seem to be giving me the runaround. So I'm trying. To, I have a video of a police officer breaking the law while on duty, and I want him ticketed, and I can't seem to have that done by the police. So I need to go over their heads to like a district attorney. Okay. So I'd like to speak with somebody. Sure. They seem to not understand what, uh, what I'm trying to do here, but. Hopefully I don't have to uh, stop this video as I have no editing capability right now and I want to get all this on one shot. Let's see what a uh, district attorney says about ticketing police officers. Sorry, I got a poker game going on. Uh, yes, ma'am. I have a video of a uh, Arlington police officer breaking the law while on duty, and I've been in uh, contact with some officers at the Arlington Police Department and Internal Affairs, and it seems that they don't want to do anything about it or are, are lagging their feet on it, and I need to know what my other options are. Can I send the video to the district attorney and you would issue this person a ticket? If they're... Excuse me? Okay. They would be the ones to direct other individuals within the police department to issue whatever process it is that needs to be issued. But, but ma'am? So it goes to the internal affairs department. But ma'am, um, don't police bring you evidence to like a district attorney on like maybe like a drug case and then you decide what charges to issue at that time? No, nope, that's how it goes on TV. That's how it goes on TV? So how do you recommend me holding a police officer accountable since they're the only ones that seem to be have the power to issue themselves or punish themselves? What 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 if what, that you continue to call internal affairs? And what if they do nothing? Well sir, that's the only means of recourse that, that I can tell you that exists in terms of uh, if you saw an officer doing something, that internal affairs are the people who handle that sort of um, handle those sorts of issues. But I mean don't you think that's that's kind of messed up. Or I'm, t I'm having a two-week battle now with these officers over an incident in January, and now there's still no accountability. They have no accountability. Well, I mean, I would disagree with you in terms of the way that our police, op our police department works, because in general they actually are quite diligent and um, are, do hold officers accountable. So as someone who works with them every day, I would disagree with your assessment. Um, I would also caution you that given the... Um, Weather that we've had over the last several weeks, the police department has certainly had their attentions directed towards trying to make sure that this community can dig out from all the snow. So with all due respect, perhaps your issue is taking a back seat between them trying to handle more pressing issues dealing with the weather. So well, the only thing that I could advise you is to perhaps uh, be a bit more patient in terms of um, having internal affairs be able to get back to you. I, I assure you, I'm sure that they will. They don't no. ignore calls. They don't ignore claims. They do speak with everybody that makes a, makes a call or makes a claim or makes some sort of allegation of wrongdoing. Oh, sure. Like they're, 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 they're speaking. would like them to, perhaps that's your issue. But there really is not any other place for you to hold someone, hold an officer accountable other than through internal affairs. I, I just think it's a little backwards that uh, this officer isn't being punished. He's still on duty and still has the ability to violate other people's rights as, as well as ignore the law that he has. When, when you, I understand the snow situation, but, I mean, this is somebody who's breaking the law. If this was, I mean, sure, it's, it's maybe not a severe crime, but if this was some, if this was a regular person, this person would have been ticketed already, punished in a court system, and possibly in jail. Um, but since it's a cop, this investigation is going at snail speed. So I guess I, I'll just keep dealing with the system and uh, trying to get some accountability. I can't believe that the DA doesn't have powers to issue a ticket uh, over something. I mean, the, if the police don't do it, everyone's just screwed. So we're all at the whims of the police. So I guess. Uh, Body and we are not a charging. We are not a charging agency, with the exception of the few, very, very few felonies 
that we go directly to the grand jury, we do not we do not issue tickets. At the end of the day, we don't do that, period. Officers can issue tickets on the road, or you can go to a magistrate. The magistrates are the ones that make the charging decisions as well, not the Commonwealth Attorney's Office. Okay, well, I, I appreciate you for your time, and, and you uh, helped me out with the process. Um, I guess I'll just continue to deal with these uh, officers and hope someone will, someone will have some decency and, and want some accountability here. Well, just keep, your best bet is to keep contacting internal affairs, since they are the ones who would handle any investigation. Yeah, and I guess if, if they don't do it, I guess I go to the press next. Okay, thank you very much. All right. mm -hmm. Have a nice day.